All right, guys, Hunter Lawrence here. Thank you for your time. Um, it's a little bit of a speed dating session. You got a lot of media <laughs> stuff going on right now. Um, but man, thanks for your time. It looks like you guys are having fun. And uh, watching the intro, obviously having Joe join you guys again mm -hmm. with, with Honda and then Chance continuing with the program. You joining your brother on 450. A lot of fun stuff is going on. It seems like you guys are having a good time. And I mentioned it to your brother. Based on how much fun you're having, it looks like there's no uh, issues from the outside looking in. It looks like everything's just smooth sailing. So is yeah. that the case or is it yeah. just what's going on right now? No, it is. It's good. Um, I mean, we're just smooth sailing as, as far as off season. I mean, really? what else is there to do except media stuff and train? So yeah. uh, it's been good. Joe, obviously a new addition, yeah. kind of coming back to the Honda family. So, yeah, it's been it's been cool. I think he's really enjoying it. Chance back on the bike. That's good for him. I know he's been itching at the bit and just feels like forever. Uh, obviously got enough experience myself of being injured so it's it's yeah. tough it never gets easy you know um but he's really happy to be back and, and we're happy to have him back because i know you know in the, the day we are human and yeah. it sucks to see someone hurt and you know away and you know the feelings that they're going through and, and the struggles they face each day to day of you know all my competitions training i'm not riding and yeah. stuff like that so it's good to have him back that's cool what was it like uh i mean you had a long season uh motocross the nations and paris supercross and Japan, so you guys have been doing a lot. Uh, but it looked like you guys, did you take some time off after Nations and stay in Europe for a little bit? Yeah, we had a week after, which was really cool. cool. We really appreciated that week Yeah. Um, before we got right back into it, so that was good. Um, but yeah, we've just been racking up them frequent flyer miles. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's good. Should hit, or well, we have hit diamonds, that was cool. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that's a first, uh, but yeah, it's cool. And one week off, is that the whole, like, that was the only real yeah. true week off? Yeah, that one, and then, you know, Japan, was a week off the man we rode a little bit over there like just briefly honestly like probably yeah. 10 minutes um but you know media staff just 6 a.m to, to 9 p.m pretty much every day it's like a full um, motor it's yeah like, it's like a yeah full it was it was more mentally and and draining than, than physically so uh yeah we've been busy keeping yeah. it on our toes but no it's good hey. good way to give back to the company the yeah. mega company that that yeah. supports us yeah know. well getting that experience being on your feet all day the that's kind of like a media job almost, like well, looking at what we do. It's tough. Safe to say we're not cut out for it. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't have media fitness, let's yeah. say that. Hey, um. when, I was, when, I was, when I was like 14 or something, I got hurt before World Mini, and I couldn't race. So I was like, I'll just pick up a camera. I didn't care about photos or anything, but yeah. I was a photographer for the week. I was like, man, this is more tiring than, than riding. It is. I'm not drinking enough water. I'm no, not eating on time. It's brutal, like, honestly. Like, I feel more tired after doing a full day of media than I do when I race. Yeah, because you know? <laughs> like, when you race, you're warming up, you're taking Yeah, you kind of, you got bits and, you got your schedule, you know, boom, boom, boom. And we're just designed to do it, you know, we're used to it. Totally. You know? So, uh, yeah, maybe, who knows, we need a few more media days. Maybe not. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, and then what was it like to be in Japan? Uh, first time there for you, right? Yeah. Correct. What was it like, the culture and then just the appreciation from Honda? It looks like you guys had a great time. Yeah, the first and foremost, the appreciation from Honda was just outstanding. You know, every room we went into in, in the factory, we get a standing ovation. Nice. Um, I joked to, to Jet and Lars and, and Brandon, I said, from now on, any room we walk into and we don't have a standing, <laughs> I'm going to be disappointed, yeah, you know, because yeah, like, yeah. uh, the treatment we got there was epic. And just to see the production line, everything there was just incredible. And the experience in Japan, man, it was wild. Uh, I don't know if you've been there or... No, or not yet. It's I hope to. Wild. Yeah. Just so different. So That's different. Cool. So it's cool to see, you know. It's cool. We travel a lot in Europe, so we're pretty seasoned travelers, yeah. I think. I would consider myself and Jet. Um, and yeah, that was a, a culture That's difference cool. for sure. That's cool. And then you talked about it, 450. At first you had to slow it down. Are you speeding it back up again? Because obviously it's a huge difference going from 250 yeah, to 450. Yeah, sure, sure. It's, it, it's fun, it's fun. But it's, it's awesome having that power, you yeah. know. Getting used to that power and stuff, you know, 250 guys just, we can't shut up about having more power. Yeah. So to have, finally have all our prayers and wishes answered is, is unreal, you know. So it's been really fun and, and I just, I can stretch my legs on that thing and I like it, you that, know. That's cool. So I, we gave Jed a hard time about the, the takeout in, in Paris. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, I mean, and we had to also sugarcoat it by saying, perfect scenario. I mean, you're in Paris. It's, it's a race that doesn't have points. Sure. There's three round, you know, triple crown each night. Yeah, so yeah. you're still able to get second overall. He didn't take you out in yeah, a one yeah. main event thing. Yeah, for sure. So, and you crashed, but you didn't hurt yourself. The bike was totally fine, but it made for 
great content and uh, great, yeah. great stuff for people. Yeah, to laugh yeah, about. exactly. I was able to get back to third, uh, closing in on second as well. So that was that was all right. That wasn't yeah. bad. But yeah, he after the race he was really pissed and he was like, dude, I got kicked off the thing. Like he was really mad about it and yeah. stuff. And I was like, whatever, I'll check the footage. Like it is what it is. <laughs> Um, I mean, we're going to be racing each other for the next, gee, hopefully 10 years. Yeah. You know? Obviously, we'll be racing a little longer than that. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm like, it's bound to happen again somewhere in the road. Like, we're racing each other all the time. Yeah. Hey, there's going to be times where he gets the short end of the stick and vice versa. So, totally. uh, I had the short end of the stick that time. But, um, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. And then what is it like lining up with your brother for the second time? I mean, you did it in the 250 class plenty of times. Now you're doing it again at a little bit of a higher level. Um, when you race by yourself, you're not worried about your competitors. You might be buddies with the guys on the track, mm -hmm. but not really. But this is your blood on the track. So yeah. um, I know he mentioned that he gets nervous watching you race. Now he's not going to get nervous because he's racing with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, it's, you love him more than anybody, right? You're his biggest yeah, fan. Yeah. He's your biggest fan. So what's it going to be like uh, coming in that first turn and you see a red fender? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it, what, what's the thought process that goes for you? Yeah, honestly... Um, yeah, like you said, coming in the first turn, if there's if there's some some sections where it's like comes in like that, you know, I think I'll it's high, it's in my nature as you know what it's like. You're yeah. a big brother. It's yeah. in your nature. You're gonna you're gonna do everything you can to avoid it. Yeah. Sometimes probably screwing yourself more yeah. so than just going through with it. Totally. Just due to big brother nature. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I do like I'd jump in front of a car for him. Yeah. So why wouldn't I do it in a race? You know, yeah. there's some things in human nature you can't turn off yeah. when you're in, in that fight or flight totally. um, instinct, you know, and, and, and mode. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Hopefully we don't have to get into too many of those situations. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, it's definitely... We, we're so good at it now, you know, like professional-wise on, on the mindset of, hey, we race each other, we race each other hard and clean, and um, that's, you know, we're brothers first. We, we race for... 10, 15 years as our racing career, right? Yeah. And, and then for the other 60, 65 years, we're brothers. Yeah, so that's cool. Well, we've got our priorities straight. I like it. It's, uh, it's impressive to watch. It's fun to watch. Thank you. And I think about it, if I was doing the same with my brother, I mean, it'd be, it'd be so hard to, uh, yeah, it's to, tough. to not let off the throttle if he's mm. next to me and yeah. let him take the line. So, like, sure. I could, yeah, it's impressive to see from the outside looking yeah. in. I think it's a fun story for people to watch. And for sure. Excited to see how it pans out. Absolutely. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. No